It was this landing spot on Mumbai's coastline through which Kassab and his accomplices slipped in to wreak havoc. Two years now after 2611, you will be shocked to know that there still remain more than 50 such completely unmonitored landing spots on Mumbai's coastline. CNN IBN has learned that security agencies have alerted the government about 56 such gaping holes in Mumbai's coastal security and at least 460 across Maharashtra which includes 16 islands and 4 districts. They have also warned about unregulated fishing activity near sensitive spots. With over 13,000 fishing vessels and over 2 lakh fishermen in the state, this is an enormous threat. What's even more shocking is that many of the fishing boats are unregistered and some fishermen carry bizarre identity cards like this one without a photograph and name of the card holder. And where we are standing right now is also an unmonitored landing spot right next to the Coast Guard's regional headquarters. At the Gateway of India, coastal agencies claim they don't know who owns each of these boats and when they enter and leave as there is no regulatory system. In 2008, a month after 2611, this Defence Ministry note to the Cabinet Committee on Security and another high-level Home Ministry meeting had raised all these concerns. and had proposed biometric identity cards for fishermen and automatic identification systems for small vessels. But while some advanced equipment has been procured, virtually no progress has been made on the vital identification systems. However, after a recent coastal security review, Maharashtra government claimed security <laughs> स्टेट गवर्नमेंट से ज्यादा नहीं लेकिन सेंट्रल एजेंसी ने बहुत सारा इंतजाम किया है दीस मेजर्स स्टिल डेट मेयर प्रपोजल्स ऑन पेपर आर क्रिटिकल टू स्टेव ऑफ अनदर 2611 स्टाइल टेरर अटैक इन मुंबई शोएब अहमद